so the highest is in your shy and kwa hii kinyozi ni like how much yes it is disclose lakini ni pesa mo mtu naweza kuambia ni pesa mimi hata kuna time nashindanga wasi wa coffees nikipiga tu vitu zangu mzuri niko sure ninashinda wale wasi wanakaa ofisi for 30 days yeah so unaweza aje abia watu wenye wako na tunyozi wanataka ikwe kinyozi complete sasa kama hii kinyozi nowadays kinyozi unadoe na by the way hata siku hizi ni kama too much story ya kinyozi ni kama sikuzi manganya you see ukipimpunganya yako na ukiangalia hizi nganya zingine watu nganya ndio uja haraka inafanya facilitation ndio so uzi fungua kinyozi weke kiti moja na weke less activities you expect wase unless uko kwa ushago kule interior but kama uko CBD ama uko any area around Nairobi kinyozi yako inafai kwa to posh Yeah what's up what's up guys tra David ndani ya show manze nimeka my area fulani hapo hivyo tupatane na baba mwingine hapo hivyo yeye wenye akina crazy kena celebs wote huko mtaane tusikia life story yake venye amekapitia then to join ni aje manze mabo bro poa poa okay do Scott me to Scott the brand mini designer stylist na baba Yeah. Ndio hiyo sawa tusikie ka life story yake venye amekapitia hadi kwenye saa hii amefika. Tujue ni aje venye amekapitia kwa life yake ama alikuwa mtoxic kama alikuwa aje tujue. So bro unaanza tu kutupea life story yako baby tusikize. Uh, of course before uke play some before anze kwa chief vitu lazima uko umepitia mambo mapo. Kuna journey na kuna process. Hakuna vile unaamka tu unless kama ulizaliwa in a rich family vitu kama hizo. Watu imekuwa process paka tufike penye tumefika. Naweza sema mimi of course at least nimesoma nimefika kampo but nowadays ma, masomo isaidii mse. Hiyo <laughs> ndo kitu hiko. Masomo ni knowledge tu usome you pass through the system maybe na tena kitu ya pili usikikasirishe mzazi juu every parent anataka mtoto wake asome. So hakuna vile utakataa na sasa yeye unalipiwa school fees. So mimi naweza sema paka penye nimefika saa hii I'm more of a street guy. Mimi ni msee wa kufanya kazi za street. Nime napenda zile hard work na napenda ile pesa nalipoa hiyo time si ile mtu ananiambia ati ngoja end month ngoja sijui wani ngoja nini hapana. Mimi napenda hizo job. Creative na job unapewa do mara hiyo hiyo. So do hiyo sasa sasa ni kuliziaje huko uko Raima? Ulikuwa unapenda subject gani? Ah mimi by nikikuwa shule nimekuwa nimekuwa msee chopi ni vile tu one on two things the school naenda sawa. Nasa sema math tu kama kawaida inalemea kila mtu but zile vitu zingine zote mimi nimekuanga sawa na kutoka Raima hadi sasa mimi nimesema nimekuwa nikipenda anything to do computers entertainment any anything to into entertainment industry nimekuwa sawa so from Raima hadi sasa nimekuwa na passion of technology and entertainment na the casual jobs hizi jobs za zimetunga ability si talent ile design unaangalia kitu you are sharp you learn na una improve it hivyo tu unaileta creative design yako ndani unaweza kumefunzwa the basic lakini sasa wewe una upgrade na your own creative mind ndio hiyo saa kuna venye umepiga introduction yako ukatwambia umetoka kwa hub family mm. kwa ni kutoka uzariwa ushai inama lunch supper ama ukasema nini kabisa ni maifanya hivyo sometimes you take one meal you take two meals hiyo ni kawaida kama wewe ni mwanaume na umejituma acha nikwambie the moment unamaliza form 4 ama unamaliza class 8 kuna watu wakimaliza form 4 ama wakimaliza class 8 ama wengine to campus it depends time gani unataka kuwa independent ama unataka hiyo freedom yako ya pesa freedom ya nyumba nini so the time una walk away from your parents house lazima tulalenja siku moja mbili tukisonga mbele tukisonga mbele hiyo ni kawaida ni hiyo kitu ishaifanya lose hopes in kwa life kuna time tume lose hope kuna time hadi nilikaa tu nikasema kuna time nimekaa kwa nyumba almost 3 or 4 weeks nilikaa tu nilikuwa nilikula hiyo do yote nilikuwa nimesave nasema there's no need cause hiyo time ulikuwa unajituma unaenda kwa hasa la kuna job ama sasa hiyo job zinapeana watu vile wanajuana so joe ni newbie wezi pewa job job iko lakini ju, you don't have the right connections upewe kazi so nilikaa tu nilikaa like hiyo two weeks kwa nyumba with nothing nililanga nja almost three days but i was through there nikafika place nikaona ha hii inisaidii ju sasa hiyo mimi unfortunately only my dad ndo anafanya job my mama afanye job na unajua vile wazai wana kuanga so all of us we tulikuwa tuna depend na nani kwa mzai kambe madeni tumie kitu kweli anakutumia hivi lakini nafika place unaona like you are being just stubborn na sasa hiyo mimi am the first born uko na second born uko third born unaona hawa si wengine kwani watakula wapi wanategemea nani sasa hiyo hiyo ni life yako tu Raima 
na wa high school sasa umekapitia hizo ulikuwa boarding ama ulikuwa day scholar hiyo high school nimekuwa nimekuwa boarding hadi form 3 ule ilifika form 3 nikakataa mambo ya boarding nikasema nataka kuwa nje ndio nilikuwa nataka ku experience life nje na tena hiyo time ukikuwa nje at least ulikuwa unapata connection za hizi exams vile watu wanataka ku set hizo leakage kila kitu mnajua so that's the time nilifika form 3 nikasema form 4 nafanya nje for form 4 nilifanya day school so kwa hii form 1 form 2 hapo kwenye adole utokea uli behave na yako i mean nilikuwa boy school na the second thing jo nilikuwa boy school nilikuwa mse active kwa games entertainment ni so most of the time tukao tunaenda funky so zile time za kukosa exposure kwa madem mimi siko na kichukayo jo karibu kila funky nilikuwa na dandia naenda hata kama sifanye anything lazima nitakuwa kwa hiyo funky I go and meet people so tukua na socialize na madem tulikuwa na kitabu zidi kwa najita huu nini kitabu fulani ndiko naandika namba za madem mshafunga tam unaenda kuwapigia mnakutana na sasa tulikuwa na ile vibe sini wase wa Nairobi mimi nilisomea side za huko karibu Kisumu kenda Kisumu but my parents were in Nairobi so most of the time tulikuwa naita wale wase wa Nairobi wase wa Nairobi so hiyo jina ilikuwa na kufanya unakutana na madem wengi na you collect more numbers Yo sasa nikuulizaje uko hizo funky ilikuwa unapenda kucheza game gani maybe music hivi ilikuwa unapenda gani sasa mimi nilikuwa msee wa music sana sana mimi nimekuwa msee wa music drama nilijaribu tu moja mbili pia hockey nilicheza kidogo tu lakini the main thing imenipeleka mbali ni music music ndio nilikuwa nafanya chuo hizi zingine tulikuwa tunaenda kama cheering squad kama unaona ni football you don't play football una dandia cheering squad bora lunch uji sort fair iko free pale lakini lunch ulikuwa unasema wewe au uko kwa plan ya shule ubebe lunch yako yeah. so high school venye umekapitia ni gani ilikuwa inakulimit sana ikuwa subject hivi mimi kitu ya kwanza physics I did the other two science but physics na math kawaida hiyo ni shida lakini languages na hizi science mbili zilikuwa sawa na hata juu nilifanya comp pia but sasa hiyo math hata math na math peke yake ndo nilifanya physics ni drop math na sasa ndo nilifanya hata sikupata kitu nilikuwa nataka kupata yeah so challenges gani umepata nazo uko high school High school sana sana ni mambo za visiting juu tuko mbali mzazi sasa zingine anatuma do sasa zingine akuji anakuja IGM peke yake ama academic day hiyo siku ni kupigwa viboko upewe anything so ni hizo tu challenges unajua msi unasoma diaspora na mzazi yako huku ni hizo ndo zilikuwa difficulties but the other things tulikuwa tunapambana tu yeah so hapa nje sasa ndo hiyo sasa tunaingia life yako hapa nje imekuaje me the good thing na mimi sichagongi kazi mimi ndo kitu ninajijua mimi sicha hata paka nifike hapa sikijai ka chini niambie mse ya tio kazi sizifanya hii sizifanya mimi penye nimefika hapa nimefanya mjengo nimefanya kazi ya hizi kazi za kufieka i've done like everything mimi sio ni nini sijafanya in Nairobi kazi sijafanya tu in Nairobi maybe kwa donda but ilikuwa time karibu ni apply ni PSV sikuwa nayo lakini hizi jobs zingine zote mimi nimefanya cuz kitu ya kwanza kama wewe ni mwanaume unafaa ujitume pale nje ndo in the place hakuna vile vitu zinakupata and the more unafanya hizi kazi ndo tunaundanga connection vile unaambiwa kuna connection na, na wase wengi ni through this job jumsa kikona kwa ad working hakuna vile utakosa namba yake hakuna vile utakosa ku introduce to the next person hiyo ndo watu wanapanda chain pole pole tu mpaka upate umefika place huko unaweza ji sustain unaweza simama ni hivyo ni struggle tu so after high school ulijitikia kwa me after high school after by the minute mko na paro fulani anapenda masomo sana my dad anapenda masomo hiyo ndo kitu alikuwa na believe it's only school ndo ndo apeni mse maisha ndo tazafanya we make it in life so mimi vile nimeweza high school hata nilikaa nyumbani karibu tu 3 months ama 4 months nikaingishwa kule mara hiyo hiyo so nikaingia kule nimetoka kule 2017 ingawa just who graduate juu ya proposal na some two three things lakini through the system i went through paka nika to the fourth year so nimemaliza 2017 wakati nimemaliza 2017 siku graduate mzae kaniambia juja graduate no help enda upambane na maisha hiyo time alikuwa tulipia rent vitu kama hizo hizo vitu ndogo ndogo ze wazazi usupport mse so from there nimemaliza shule mimi mwenyewe nime attack life vile na attack so through there ndo nimejua hizi vitu mob za mkono hizi ability work hizi job hazihitaji akili inahitaji uko tu na determination unaweza jituma na unaweza kuonyesha mse naweza fanya ndo nimezifanya hizi zote hadi nimefika hapa penye niko nimesema let me settle on this one nione penye itanifikisha yeah so my fans mnasikia venye mtu kapitia before i make it in life so acha sasa tuingie kutoka sasa uingie kwa hii job upatane nao my fans au 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 my celebs sorry
umekapitiaje ama unajisikiaje saa uko kwa ile hii job nazambia mse sama kunyoa kunyoa inaweza kwa talent na kunyoa inaweza kwa ability na kunyoa it's very kuna iko na distinctive things si kitu rahisi vile watu wanafikiria na tena inafaa kwa mse unajituma na mimi nimekutana na wasi nasema thanks nimekutana na wasi wote wengine wamenisaidia to the next step na wengine pia wana bado wananisaidia but ni, ni job poa <coughs> naweza ambia mse yote kwa hapo winjo the same as mna value djing mna value hizi vitu zo any those all is a job is kwa hapa nje baba ringi na lipa ni vile tu hapa Kenya bado hatuja na hiyo concept but unaweza angalia nikiangalia wasi wangu wote na angalia nga majuu kuna wasi wananyoa as high as 6000 as 10000 just a single cut 60 dollars so wewe unaweza imagine ukienda play sky hiyo hata msi anafanya ofisi hii Nairobi akushindi ah akushindi hata kidogo juu kama one head is 60 dollars ukinyoa wasi watano kwa siku kuna 300000 the yoni pesa mzuri na uta relax tu pale na upate ndo yako ni vile tu Kenya bado hatuja set standards but vile tunaendelea tuta set standards yeah jibe na sahi watu walikuwa wananyolewa na 20 bob 50 sahi inaweza sema hata ukienda mtaani ni 150 ama 200 ndo the lowest mm-hmm. na tutafika ile ba utakuna sikia kunyoa ni thao mm-hmm. na hakuna vile mtakataa kunyoa ni lazima mm-hmm. yeah mtaani watu na hiyo thao juu sasa Kenya sahi umeambiwa ndo employee government short hair sijui nini hatuna ile freedom uko na ile freedom kama we mwenyewe ni private sector unaweza enda na dredi unaweza enda aje kama ni private sector but any public lazima uko hivyo yeah so my basic need to at the end of the day ni kama tu vile unakula chakula kukuwa msafi na grooming yourself is some our basic need yeah so the highest is in your shy and kwa hii kinyozi ni like how much yes it is disclose lakini ni pesa mom tu naweza kuambia ni pesa mimi hata kuna time nashindanga wasi wa office nikipiga tu vitu zangu mzuri niko sure ninashinda wale wasi wanaka ofisi for 30 days yeah so unaweza aje abia watu wenye wako na tunyozi wanataka ikwe kinyozi complete sasa kama hii kinyozi nowadays kinyozi unajua ina by the way hata siku hizi ni kama tu mat story ya kinyozi ni kama siku hizi manganya you see ukipimpunganya yako na ukiangalia hizi nganya zingine watu nganya ndio ujaa haraka inafanya facilitation mbio so uzi fungua kinyozi weke kiti moja na weke less activities you expect to say unless you koko ushago kule interior but kama uko CBD ama uko any area around Nairobi kinyozi yako inafai kwa to posh wakazi wako sawa uko na tumadem pale wameweza wenye wanakaribisha wase wanaume of course ina ukinesia mwanaume ni mdemu juu mwanaume shauna mdemu safi na anajua mdemu ndo anamfanyia finishing anampiga massage anamfanyia hizo finishing hata mwanaume kuna wengine hata wananyoa mara tatu kwa siku. Eh? Watakaa mtu juu ya hizo mbili tatu wa kampeni nywele nywele na niuma nini? Na kumbe tu anataka services. Juu kinyozi pia ukitaka kujua kinyozi ni kama therapy session. Customers wengi wanaongeana na wasi wa kinyoleo. Mtu atakwambia si unajua leo bibi amenifanyia hivi, leo deal yangu jaenda through through to your kunyoa. So the more welcoming you are, the more you create connection out here and the more una unapata una socialize na wasi na unajua hata stories mingi zenye msako huko uko ofisi amekaa apart hizo story juu kama uko ofisi ni wewe na computer unangoja 8 hours zako zinaisha unaenda huko mimi hapa naweza socialize na mse yote naweza enda hapa nje nifanye kitu yangu customer kikuja anapigiwa simu naambiwa mtu fulani amekuja na hata wengine niko na personal numbers mtu anabuka hata before afika na mbe hey, monday nitakuja kunyolewa saa fulani na fulani So unajua Monday masaa fulani sifai kwa nimetoka hii place na fani kwa nime relax. So it's easy as that. At the end of the day ni commission. The more you hack or you work hard the more you get money. Juu commission ukilala kwa nyumba wewe ndo na lose. Hata at the end of the day kama boss wa hii kazi ata lose, yeye yeah, maisha yake inashaendelea. Hii job ni kama Saida Sole yake. So yeye yeah, maisha yake inaendelea. Wewe ndo nafaa you put in commission ndo wote msaidiane. Two way traffic. Yeah. Ukipata kitu yeye anapata kitu. Wewe ukitaka maisha yako unayarusha. Yeah. So wakati kuna wamama zana kama mingi kufanyiwa massage. Ushai fall in uh, temptation maybe. Hapana mimi kitu ya kwanza mimi customer na mimi tunakonga ni professional hapo. Professional professional. Mimi kama ni customer tunaingiana naye maybe brother yangu ama mse fulani tunafanya ngana ye content mbili tatu tuko na hiyo uhusiano. Lakini ya wengine it's purely job, tufanye job, tumalizane na job we move on to next tukiunda relationship is purely job hata nikipea mse namba yangu inakonga nipigia niambie na kuja siku fulani ama na kutumia mtu fulani akuje niliona job yako ni safi hata nitumie mse fulani akamu hiyo ndo relationship watu na create 
Yeah. So hakuna mtu mwenye ashai ku force. Hakuna hakuna. Kwa hiyo job wewe mwenyewe ndo una decide. Kama wewe mwenyewe ni msa wa kujitupa, wewe mwenyewe ni kifagio, sawa, utatumiwa kama kifagio. Lakini uko na standards zako, hata customer mwenyewe akikamapa anakushimu na hakuna siku hata kuna customer akikuja hapa apate Scott ayuko. Takwambia kuna mwingine, ah sitaki. Scott akikuja mimi nipigieni simu. Ama siku atarudi atakuja na kama umefutwa kuna customer hata atakufuata paka penye ume relocate. Kwambia huyo tu ndo mimi nataka anishughulikie. Ni loyal tu. Ndio sha make customer loyal the sakwa ipote yangi. Bora tu uko loyal kwa customer, kuwa loyal to your workmates na area. Bado kama bado uko hapo customer atakuja hapo the next 20 years paka kufi atakaa mtu. So una dirigi aje na negative vibes. A negative vibes kawaida mimi unajua mimi kitu ya kwanza mimi naishingi maisha yangu. So mimi kama kuna kitu na kongana very high ni confidence na self esteem. I don't care wewe unasema nini. Kitu ya kwanza tu tuheshimiane. The moment you cross me hapo ndo watu na vurutana. Jo mimi ni msema na kongana na temper issues. I'm very na kongana asira ya juso. That's why mimi si choko zangu msema na ule choko zangu. Na kitu ya pili I don't keep grudges. Hata kama tumekosana na wewe but unaona una make effort ya kuniongelesha, sitai kukataa kuongelesha. Tuta create relationship tuongee. Vitu zitashuka tu kidogo. Maybe pe nilikuwa nimekufikisha huko juu nitakushukisha. Tena we start creating it from zero. But mimi hizo vitu za online na negative. Unajua the more you engage with negativity the more zina ku affect. But wewe ukini mimi sikujui wewe unijui. Ikikuwa mama yangu ama sister yangu ama naye ambaye kijana unakaa hivi it and hurt. Juu ni mse tumegrow na yeye ama ni mtu amenza. Lakini you from nowhere you come just commenting. Ni data yako unaharibu na maybe hata maybe ukifanya hivyo una create traffic kwa page yangu. So the more as you see una ni attack. I'm gaining from that. Yeah, ni simple tu. Do in Kenya ama anywhere either you are doing good or you are doing bad lazima watu watakuingilia ukue yesu ukue shetani lazima kuna negative vibes yeah so about sasa sasa hizi unajiona like in 5 years coming unajiona wapi uh, in the 5 years come tunataka tu kitu ya kwanza tunataka tupandishe hii mambo ya barbering tunataka tufanye barbering ikue company tunataka ikue unaona vile mna winda content huko nje na vitu vingine tunataka barbering ikue na undi wa content yeah Kenya bado tujanza hizo vitu but tunataka tukue na hizo competitions hapa pale people, people are making money out of this babaring na babaring pia ime take journey kutoka watu wanyolewe na wembe watu wanyolewe na makasi hadi tumefika kwa machine so each time babaring pia ina evolve as much as hizo vitu technology ina evolve pia babaring ina evolve so in the next years mimi naweza kuambia hivi sioni kama nitacha hiyo job ya babaring na hata nikiacha mimi mwenyewe mimi bin kwa ni my own place yangu na sijaacha i'm still doing it ju time nitakonga free nitakuwa naingia hapo napiga watu shelf ama nitakuwa na wale wasi kuna wasia wanasemanga tu sitaki mtu mwingine scott tutanyoa so mimi as long as i'm breathing tutaendelea tu up the bar to up the bar to up the bar hakuna siku tuta switch hata tukiswitch kwa vitu zingine zote tuta find a middle balance tuweke zote pamoja So mnaweza ambia my fans kama wewe uko single ama uko married ama uko in a relationship utolcha pe. Ah mimi siko single kitu ya kwanza kitu ya kwanza mimi napenda kukuwa na mse napenda kuwa plus one life yangu yote napenda kuwa plus one. Jo kikuwa na mse unajua sasa nikombe inaitonga purpose. Jo the, mo- the moment you are single vitu zingine you don't even give a fuck about. Tutatumia pesa yako vile unataka utapiga sherehe utatumia any do utatumia vile unataka. Jo hakuna mse anakupea purpose na hakuna mse anakupush. Yeah. So the moment uko na mtu kwa life yako, akuwe ni demo yako, akuwe ni nani? As long as uko na wewe mse tu pale anakupush. Anakuambia hapana. Leo umepata hii do fanyia kitu fulani. Ama hii kitu unafanya hivi fanya hivi. Hiyo ndo napenda kwa na mse, ako close kwangu. Na unajua shapenda mse, akona vile utaruka mambo yake. Nataka kama utaruka ni moja mbili, lakini always hata utakwanga pale ukifanya kitu unajua una represent mse. Au utaingia kwa hizi vitu ndogo ndogo, utajiuliza mimi sasa vile niko hapa, sinachafulia mse fulani jina. Juu kama umesha umeshaweka demo yako pale nje umeshamwakilisha huyu this is my girl you can imagine uko pale maybe unaiba ama unafanya hizi vitu za upuzi watu watauliza hey huyo pia demo yake anakubali afanye hivi ama bwana yake anakubali afanyange vitu fulani so people wanaanza kuwaweka kwa group ndio wanajiuliza huyu mtu anafanyaje hivi na wanaishi na huyu mse na huyu mwingine anafanya hivi ndio anaishi na huyu mse kumaanisha ni tabia then ni the same so mimi napenda mse kwa na mse kwa life ndio ananipia ngao purpose na anafanya na kwa hard work kuna hiyo competition na the moment kuna positive competition kila siku ta grow but ukikuwa place tu kwa comfort zone uta grow utaka tu pale hata kama una making money pesa itoshangi hiyo ndo kitu watu wajuange 
kila siku amka hata bilionea na amka kila siku na ako na do so pesa itoshangi na ako na dem ndio na days watu watu watakikuwa na madem juu ya responsibilities nini nini hapana kwa na madem na at the end of the day nazambia mse tu chagua hiyo kaliba ama chagua ule mse unaona na kufit juu hakuna za mimi by the way hii mbini kona hiyo out space niko nayo outlook niko na everything but na chagua pale huyo dem mwenye anifaa sisi endea mse mwingine ati juu unaona anajulikana of course ukijulikana unaweza pata dem yote but you can when they to dem juu dem Unaendea dem ukikuwa na quality unaangalia ABC ABC unaona huyu atanisaidia na nikimuzia hii idea atanisaidia kwa hii idea ABC hivyo. Iko hivyo. Your life ni yako at the end of the day. So say you need to be the upcoming when you nataka kunyoa ama hadi yao my youths. Uko nje utawaambia nini about the life? Uwape advice moja tukimalizia. Some days kuna shortcut mingi hiyo ndo kitu cha kwanza. Kwanza kama unaishi Nairobi shortcuts ni nyingi. So kitu ya kwanza nafao jiulize unataka ku live a short and happy life ama unataka kuishi life iko na process unaacha legacy na una mental mse pale nje ama unasaidia mse hizo ndo maswali nafao jiulize kama unataka short and and happy it's okay ziko wishi miaka 5 ukula bilionaire miaka 10 ukufe hizo hizo channel ziko but kama unataka kukaa hadi 70 ama 80 years you have a story you have a legacy fanya vitu Sikuizi masomo kila mtu anasoma acha niwaambie kila mtu anasoma PhD masters zote ziko huko nje Si ati hakuna mwenye ana lakini the thing is we mwenyewe unataka nini kama mwenyewe Nowadays it's always passion as more as tunajaribu ku copy life ya majuu vile life kwa majuu to copy their lifestyle vile iko Juko unaona mtu can run three jobs in a day sisi hapa we are running one one job for eight hours Na ni juu wewe umeka chini umeona huyu msee acha kuandika kukwe pale akutumia bila na kutumia kuna passions sikuzi kuna hizo content creation kuna vitu mingi mtu anaweza fanya na kila msana kuna na passion ama na talent invest ukifanya kitu unafanya kama usweat bro hakuna siku utaisikia hasara juu ni kitu unabambika nayo ukifanya hata ausikia hasara lakini wewe uko pale kwa ofisi msame kukalisha tu wewe unangoja siku ishe you are missing out on a lot of opportunities sasa hivi naweza ambia say concentrate on private sector than public sector na kama ni public sector maybe we ni mp hizi vitu za politicians do au wanaingia ng parliament mara mbili kwa mwe, kwa kwa wiki hizi siku zingine ni kupiga tu njaro you can do other things yeah so my fans mnasikia venye amekapitia life story yake venye amekua venye amekapitia kutoka kwenye ametoka umesikia ametoka far so do not lose hope ama utawaambia I hope we still lose na pia usiku to hope kama unisaidi. You can't be hopeful if you are not helping yourself. Even God help those who help themselves. So, uwezi kapale kwa nyumba ni kupigia watu ukiomba watu pesa 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 pesa. Kitu inafaa kunafanya pigia mtu simu muulize kazi, napataje kazi, nafanyaje kazi ama nifunze kitu fulani. Niko na passion hapa nifunze. Mtu asha kufunza uko na the tools to attack the life or to attack the market dan kuka pale unaweza pata mtu anakutumia do kila saa kila saa kila saa but the end of the day umejiuliza umsa kikufa ama kitu imfanyikia ama run bankrupt utatafuta the next person kukua parasite too so the only thing ni wewe mwenyewe ujiulize hizi job gani naweza fanya na kitu gani naweza fanya na passion ushaeka hiyo kwa kichwa na ufanye poa ukwe mse honest hakuna vile god atakata ku bless hata universe yenyewe itaku bless tu jua ni mse unajituma of course itakuwa itachukua time tuna kitu kingine wa set tunataka kukua na pesa haraka sana haiwezekani bro haiwezekani haiwezekani so wewe ka chini fanya kazi yako wewe jitume the only thing ni consistency na kujituma daily daily siku moja tu kila kitu itakuwa sawa as long as unapata ndogo hiyo kubwa unataka hii ndogo itapaila ni kwa hiyo kubwa unataka yeah. so my guys come on watch welcome to the golden bubbles huku kuja unyolewe sio Yeah, a golden bubble ni spa na iko full iko na kila karibu kila kitu we are offering both men and female services haircut manicure pedicure braiding massages steaming facials dreadlocks karibu kila kitu inafanywa kwa spa tuko nayo hapa na zote tume ziko classified hizo za female na male na pia tuko na wasi wanafanya poa na utabambika na services yeah So hadi my fans mnaweza ona hiyo ya kati yake waonyeshe as tunamalizia. Bana uko na ya kati nyingine hapo mwofa. Unaona hiyo? Ah, ndio huyo sasa. Ukifanya kazi pia wewe mwenyewe na fuck what msafi ni hivyo. My fans let me next time on the boom.